34. A projectile is launched from level ground with an initial speed v0 at an angle theta with the horizontal. If air resistance is negligible, how long will the projectile remain in the air? The situation we want to describe here is as follows. You have an initial velocity v0 at an angle theta and due to these initial conditions and the gravitational acceleration, the object follows a parabolic path like this. Now, there is a constant gravitational acceleration downward, negative g, and we want to determine the value of the time of flight. How long does this object stand in the air? There are several strategies to do this. The first one will be that you could calculate the time for the object to reach the maximum height. At the maximum height, we know that the final vertical position must be zero and the initial vertical velocity is supposed to be V0 sine of theta. Given that the acceleration is negative g and we want the time, then the first equation is perfectly adequate to do this. Final velocity minus the initial velocity over time. And so the time to go all the way up will be zero minus v naught sine of theta divided by negative g which is equal to v naught sine of theta over g it is reasonable to think that for the second part you are going to take as much time as for the first part therefore your total time should be twice v naught sine of theta divided by g, which is option E. There is also the possibility that you want to say that the displacement in the y direction is zero and your initial y velocity is v naught sine of theta. Then, given that the acceleration is negative g and you want the time, the third equation comes into play and displacement is equal to initial velocity time plus one half acceleration time squared. This means zero is equal to V naught sine of theta T minus one half G T squared. You can cancel the initial T which is zero and a little algebra tells you that V naught sine of theta can be multiplied by 2 and divided by g to obtain the time. Therefore, your answer is still option E.